book friends today's video i am doing a recent reads um for those that don't know it is may it's not may it's april and that means it's old school april so for old school april i have read three goosebumps books in the past two days so i figured i'd just do a little review-ish recent reads type situation with those. So first I read The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. This is book number five, I believe, or six. So it's about this boy named Gabe. He goes to Egypt with his parents and his uncle is there and his uncle is involved in this big dig at the pyramids. All of a sudden, his parents get this call that they have to go back home for some kind of business thing, and they give him the option of staying there in Egypt with his uncle or going home with them. So he decides to stay with his uncle, and he ends up being able to go inside one of the pyramids while well, his ass gets lost. His cousin is there as well with him. He's kind of not very nice likes to play tricks on him. So like I said, they get stuck inside and they think that there's something going on, that they keep seeing things moving. Is it a mummy? What's going on? So I gave it a three star. I had never read it before. I was so excited all these years because I had a thing about mummies, Egypt, all that jazz. It was just okay. I was kind of bored, but I knew it was short, so I finished it. Uh, the next book, Goosebumps, that I read was Let's Get Invisible. That is that is number six. So the other one was number five. So our main character, his name is Max. He's having a birthday party. Him and his friends end up going into the attic of his home, and they find this mirror where they end up when you pull the cord because there's like a light. I think that is attached to the mirror. You pull the cord and you disappear. Well, if you disappear for too long, are you going to come back? That's basically the situation in that one. So I ended up giving that one three stars as well. The promise was okay. I kind of had a feeling what was going to happen, which it is a Goosebumps book. They're kind of predictable. But anyways, the last one that I just finished today was The Ghost Next Door, and that is number 10. So our main character, her name is Hannah, and she's stuck at home with her brothers um, for the summer because her parents can't afford whatever summer camp or whatever that her friend is at. So she's home, and she sees this new kid in the neighborhood that she's never seen before, he told her, you know, I just moved here. I also have these two friends, random, blah, blah, blah. So she starts seeing, like, she's got these weird dreams. And she thinks that he possibly, the neighbor boy, I don't remember what his name was, is a ghost. Because, like, he came out of nowhere, blah, 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 blah. Well, I saw the twist coming a mile away. Again, it's goosebumps. We don't ask for award-winning shit here. We know that it's not, like, going to be an outstanding ending. Not any that I've read just yet. Anyways, I ended up giving this a four-star because once the twist happens, there is something else that happens that I didn't expect. I thought it was just going to end with the twist and it was going to be, oh, well, now everything I know is different than what I thought it was. Okay, so let's live with it. But something else happens and that made it a little bit more interesting, if you get what I'm saying. So... Those are the three Goosebumps that I read in the past two days. I haven't read any of them before. Um, they're more or less, I think I have two or three in between seven and ten to read so that I'm all up to the tenth book. 
but I'm sure that I will um, read another one sometime this month because my I have like seven or eight library cards, so there's several options. I am trying to finish the original Goosebumps series before I get into or dabble into the slappy world or horror land, whatever. Um, were these the greatest books that I've ever read? No, but they were short and they were fun and they were easy to get points for the Purple Parrot team. We're gonna win. We're getting there. Everybody's points seem to be like one team will be up, the other will be down, but the end of the month is really when we're going to be able to tell. But have you read any of these? Do you have any recommendations of the Goosebumps books that are like top tier? Because I am interested to know. I know I'm not the only adult reading these books that feels this way about them. Um, but like I said, they're fun, quick, uh, help you get out of a slump. So like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!